Good morning. Uh, this is Dilt uh, from ESO Files Camp. So once again, I am in front of you uh, with the paraphrase, and uh, we have already done uh, the video. We have done the background statement of the writing part. Okay. So now let's uh, start with the paraphrase. This is the second thing uh, you will have to write down in your introductions. The first one is a uh, background statement, the general statements, and after which you need to write down the paraphrase. So how you can just uh, uh, make the paraphrase of a uh, uh, writing task, how you can make the paraphrase of writing task, means how you can paraphrase your writing task. The first thing is uh, there you need to keep in mind that while you are doing the writing task too, uh, the vocabulary is it's mandatory for average students, uh, they must have a a uh, high uh, range of vocabulary, wide, a uh, wide range of vocabulary you need to uh, need to use in your writing task. Uh, as soon as you start uh, attending the IELTS classes, you need to learn and need to how to use the vocabulary in the sentence. Eh? These are the uh, first things uh, as soon as you start your writing task. Sorry, as soon as you start your uh, IELTS classes. Per day, at least five to six vocabulary, you need to get the new ones. You can get it from any uh, book or maybe uh, through uh, internet or maybe just by reading any English newspaper. So you can get five to six vocabulary per day and even it will help you to uh, make an effective uh, writing task uh, with a wide range of vocabulary. So always you think about the vocabulary, we will use the sentence structures as I have told you that as soon as you got the vocabulary, just try to use it into a, into a sentence structure which, is, uh, which must be consisted of a, a, like a wide range, it consisted of a, a, like a complex structures and not used in a simple way just you do like uh, this this must be your second priority and even just keep working on your grammar just keep one keep one keep one on your grammar so after just uh, just getting all these and like uh, having uh having just learned all these you need to use all those in your paraphrasing your introduction paraphrasing uh in your introduction of writing task too so as we have already done that, the topic was there. Yeah, some people think a certain business. Certain business means like not all. It's a certain business. Certain like most of the students face the problems. They they think that all the prisoners uh, so they just go over the topic, just off the topic they, they, they go. So they lose their balance scores. And I have uh, said in, in my earlier video that you need to understand the topic and then about the discussing topic. What discussing topic? The topic is that talk about the prisoners. They are criminals, okay? And the topic is regarding the crime. So they're talking about the prisoners, but they're talking about uh, the a certain prisoners, not all the prisoners. So we need to think about the certain prisoners uh, must be given like an uh, unpaid uh, community work, unpaid like a uh, free of cost uh, community work uh, in place of uh, just keeping them uh, in the jail, keeping them in the sentence, like uh, keeping them in the imprisonment. So this this is the all things you need to keep in your mind. I want to recommend you just a step by step. It's like some people think think a lot think like that. Uh, some people think, but the topic is about uh, should. So you can say some people advise or uh, some people advise. And should some people advise that some people advise to the government that government should like this kind of course and if you don't want to use this one you want to go in the passive voice then you can use the word that uh, like certain prisoners must be should be uh, plus third form like unko aisa kiya jana chahiye ya unse aisa kuch karwaya jana chahiye so in that case aap isko passive mein bhi bana sakte ho active mein hai to active mein use kar sakte ho some students uh, always say that their teacher uh, always suggest them to just uh, use it into active or active or into passive yeah that's good ones i agree but don't like limit yourself just with the active or passive just think that criminals like usually the criminals or culprit or whatever that need to be like this is a passive voice but you didn't mention the name of the, some people or anything so what they are so 
you can use in, into the active voice or passive voice or vice versa or you can use these sentence structures by just um, just uh, like uh, omitting the name of the people so like there must be the statement it looks like a uh, somebody it looks like somebody is the same or some particular thing so you need to understand while uh, doing the sentence structures in our other video we will discuss about that so some people think that certain uh, some people think uh, certain that is yeah, some people think something that and maybe certain prisoners should be made to do unpaid community work instead of being put behind bars as we have already done the background of it and nowadays the crime rate level and things you can mention especially the party ones uh, has increased in recent like uh, in recent years or nowadays you can write down uh, one instead of the two so uh, you can't mention the recent years over there so, so you can cut this one so maybe if you want to write down the recent year in recent years you can't write down the now data so this is this was a big letter yeah, I, I have made it so for, for that one now there's the crime rate especially the uh, petty ones has increased okay well, until that was you better just till this you can write it so therefore as an effective solution it is solicited that so from here we will write down that paragraph first you know that one certain uh, prisoners means certain prisoners the vocabulary is for the prisoner is that culprit the vocabulary is a is a for the prisoner is a culprit what vocabulary is the vocabulary is the culprit offender uh, we will use the culprit culprit uh, should be, I mean, like a should be, it's a passive voice, you can use it in the active voice, or maybe using that need, you can make it in another way. Made to do unpaid work, unpaid, what the unpaid work? Unpaid work is a uh, free of cost community work, which is public, okay? It's a public uh, deeds, public deeds. And instead, instead, what is there uh, in uh, lieu of instead is a uh, lieu of and uh, put behind bars okay in lieu of uh, uh, like uh, keeping in jail or uh, giving the sentence so these are the vocabulary we have got and now we need to use so uh, it is the solution that what solution so it is this that I will have mentioned again here. Uh, cul, cul, rates. Not all culprits, certain culprits. So we will mention uh, like uh, some of the, some of the culprits. Some of the culprits. Some of the culprits. Some of the culprits uh, like they are in a certain category, like some of the culprits uh, need to be uh, need to be need to be deployed. This is new vocabulary. Need to be deployed uh, for the uh, for the for the for the uh, for the free of cost free of cost deed for public for public for the public you can always deploy for the free of cost deed or maybe uh, deeds of public or maybe sometimes you can write down yourself like some of the culprit need to be deployed for public uh, just for the free of a cost deed so in this way you can write down so deploy for the uh, free of cost deed or deployed for the deed uh, which should be a free of cost in many ways okay free of cost 
in sorry in l e u in lieu of in lieu of in lieu of giving them sentence or maybe in lieu of keeping them in imprisonment or maybe jail so this is the structure of the sentence as well as the vocabulary and even the grammar we have made it so one clause and that one is another clause so two clause one sentence it's a complex structure sentence this is one clause therefore is a tradition and after that once uh, we just uh, cut from doing interest and uh, we have done the paraphrase of the writing task too so that's all about our writing task background and uh, background and uh, paraphrase so the topic is now it is uh, crime now it is crime rates is actually uh, the party uh, ones, the party ones, crime rate, especially the party ones has increased. We increased, therefore, as a, an effective solution, it is uh, suggested that uh, some of the culprits need to be deployed for the free of cost deal for public in lieu of giving them sentence or keeping them in imprisonment or jail. That's all about our introductions, the, the introductions, background, and paraphrase. So we will do uh, the opinion as well as uh, our outlines in our next video, and we will complete these introductions. So thank you very much.